Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines here at the last of the 13 Fishing Brim Series. And we're at the Gold Coast, and the big story of this event are the guys vying for the Angler of the Year. We're going to catch up with those four guys tonight, see how their day on the water was, and see how they think they're going to go this weekend. Anthony Thorpe, uh, one of the anglers in contention for AOY, and obviously you've come up here to the Gold Coast. Uh, how was your pre-fish today? Uh, it started off pretty slow this morning. Um, we didn't really find much. We started up around the Sovereign Islands, and yeah, it was really slow. So we um, ventured down into the Narang later on in the day. Um, we found a few fish. Um, didn't really catch too many, but yeah, it was good just to see a few. We got a couple, but yeah. How do you think your chances are at the AOY, mate? You're in contention. Oh... Uh, Look, there's, there's four other anglers, um, very good anglers, that are in contention as well. So um, I'll just go out there and give it everything that I've got, put my head down and just fish hard for the next two days. So, What about the uh, the grand final uh, on what's nearly your home waters down at the uh, the Hawkesbury? You like fishing the Hawkesbury? Are you looking forward to the grand final? Yeah, I ha I'm looking forward to that grand final. I've already been down um, the last few weeks just starting to have a look around and um, there's some really good fish in the system. So, yeah, very excited to, for that final. So. Okay, Scott Butler doing very well in the AOY race and of course this is your home ground. You must fish here more days than all of the other guys put together. You'd have to be favourite for AOY. How do you feel coming into this event? Um, yeah, pretty confident. Look, it's, uh, the fishing is tough at the moment. Um, it's been tough for the last month or so. It's really shut down. The fish are there, it's hard to catch. I didn't pre-fish today. I, I know where I'm fishing so yep. I didn't really bother going out. Um, but the last few weeks I have found some good spots here that have been fishing well before the pre-fish band that have really come in. Spots I don't normally fish. Um, I actually found that there was some big schools of big fish there and I won a comp here a few weeks ago that was really good. And But look mate, it's going to be tough. I think um, it's a pretty tough tide as well. And But the conditions are blowing a bit of wind and a bit of cloud cover should make them better. But I think it's all about catching that one or two big fish a day. That's what it's going to come down to. So. What, uh, what weights do you think you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to get to get on top of the leaderboard? Oh, look, I'm talking to a few mates as well the last few weeks. I think you're, if the fish bite, you'll probably need three kilo a day because the big fish are there. Um, but the way it has been the moment, I think two and a half a day, you would probably win it. OK, Russ Barbecue, you've, uh, you've won AOYs before. You're in the race for this AOY. And as I remember correctly, um, the last AOY you won, you did it by smashing him in the last event. Uh, what do you think your chances are this year? Oh, probably pretty slim here. Um, Gold Coast, it's one of those places where I always get fish, always get good numbers of fish, but for some reason um, just can't get those kickers like the locals seem to know. These certain little canals and stuff that hold those big ones where obviously I haven't been here that much. I might fish it well once every couple of years. So I just do the same run I've been doing for about eight years pretty much. So nothing new for me. Probably just go through Runaway Bay and just start at one end and work my way right around. Um, did you get out for a fish today? Yeah, I got out today. It was um, a lot dirtier than I thought. Last night we had a big downpour and it seemed to have uh, slowed them down a little bit. I mainly just throw top waters up here just because it's fun and yep. while you're having fun you're catching fish so I'll just do that again tomorrow and hopefully that dirty water that's sort of come down will clear up a little bit and bring it back on the chew.